Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on what are all these noises my phone is making. So this might sound very familiar to you anytime you sit down with people at a meeting or a dinner or anywhere, you start to hear all these crazy noises, right? <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think okay. We're good now. It's fun the noises. Okay. Um, so it's, I think it's a common problem today for us yes. is our phones are always making noises and right. sometimes we know what those noises are and sometimes we don't. Right, exactly. <laughs> and it can be confusing and I know for a lot of people it's like, what the heck are these noises? Right, so what does that mean? And you look and then yeah. the, the noise is gone and you're not sure and what you it is. And you, know, you don't want it there and you know, how, right. what is it? Right. So, or you want to customize it because they can right. be helpful too, mm -hmm. you know? So. so today we're going to show you what these sounds are and some simple things you can do. All right. So the first place we're going to look is we're going to go into settings and I'm going to tap on my settings. Okay. And the first place if I scroll down, I'm on the iPhone again, but the iPad of course would be, be the, the same. same, be on two screens. Yep. So I'm going to go down next. until I see screens or sounds, sounds. Yeah. <laughs> screens, sounds. All right. Now, if you look here, what we're showing you today is these are all the things that are built into your iPhone. Uh, most of them, a couple of them aren't, we'll point that out in a minute, that make sounds, right. that send out alerts. Right. And this is where you can change them or turn them on and off. Right, so and it, it's yeah. nice. It's nice to have different things uh, going on so you know, oh, that was a text coming in, right. or oh, that was an email, yep. I don't really care. So we could start at the very top, and we can start with the ringtone, the most obvious noise ring that your phone makes. when your phone is ringing. When your phone rings, right. So you just, if you tap on it, and you come in, and then you can pick... Whatever kind of, whichever ringtone yeah. you want. So oh. that's the first thing you could change. Or if you go to the top. Oh, oh that's geez, a nice that one. was loud. Uh -huh. If you scroll all the way to the top. Oh, no, that's interesting. You can't turn the phone right. you ringtone off. can't turn the off. phone ringtone off. Oh, that one's a good one. Okay. All right. But so this you is another, your... but if, if we look here, you could, you could put it on vibrate here. Right. You can do your vibrate here. Yeah. This is your vibrate, um, actually your vibrate. Um, oh, what it does. Oh, yeah, cool. Right, right. <laughs> and your phone also vibrates. That's It's just exactly. like kind of like a sound, right? Right. So you can turn vibrate on. So if you have it in your pocket right. and you're not, maybe you can't hear it because it's stuffed down in your pocket or mm -hmm. something, you can have it vibrate and you can have it do different kinds of vibrating mm -hmm. um, depending For on... For your ringtone. Right. Perfect. Okay. And then right. if you go back out, you have other things you can do. Yep. You can do uh, change your text tone. Uh and let's see, I think you can, with these, I think you can put pick none, right? Yep, I can yeah. pick none. And right. then, or the note is the default, or you could change it to none. So here's one way you could turn that off. Of course, I, I like to, the text is, is something I want in an alert. Right. Because it seems more immediate to oh, me. Oh, right, yes. So again, you could pick all these different sounds for that. Right, and you can turn the vibration on or off for... Um, none. You can say none. Yep. So maybe you don't want. You only want it to vibrate when the phone rings, not right. when you get a text. Right. So you could turn that yep. off. Or if you got really fancy with yep. those vibration mm -hmm. uh, rhythms, I guess you would call them. Right. You could have a different one for text and a different one for right. ring, and you know that kind yep. of thing. So. So um. So they all work basically the same. So you could do it for a ringtone for the phone, right. for the text, for a new voicemail, right. for a new mail, for sent, sent mail. mail. Now mail will only work if. The mail app is open. Right. And your phone is on. Right. Okay. Or texting kind of comes through no matter what. Right. And then um, these two, t t uh, Twitter and Facebook, are the two that are not system apps, if you want to call them that. Right. But they have built in yep. settings within yep. Apple's for login. And so this things. is where you could change what you want those to sound like or turn them off. And right. then there's calendar alerts, reminder alerts. And airdrop, airdrop that alerts. airdrop went through well, which you would know because you'd be airdrop. <laughs> right, you'd be looking at it. <laughs> no, so. you might get an airdrop. You might get an airdrop and, you and not know about it. Yeah. Right, right. But these are great to know that these these are things that send uh, make your phone make noises, and here's where you can either change them or turn them off. Right, and here's also where you can turn off the lock sound, which isn't really a big deal. That's when you turn it off; it makes like a clunking sound. Um, but keyboard clicks, you might not want to have it click yes. every time you type Isn't on your crazy? keyboard. Right. So you can turn that off. If here. you're trying to text or, you know, type somewhere where you want to be quiet and the right. keyboard makes noise. Right. That's, uh, I think a lot of people don't know right. that under sounds you at can, the bottom, there it is. Yeah. And you can also change um, the, the 
um, the volume. The volume here. Yep. And you can also say, whoops, <laughs> whether or not you want to change the right. volume. That's with why I the kept buttons. going back because right. you have it on change it with the buttons, the volume buttons. Right. So if you have this on, it's only going to be affected by your what up your and down uh, here. up and down volume is here. Right. I personally, I don't know why I have this on. It must have been good for you, but I like it to be separate because I want my alerts to be a certain sound and maybe I want my volume of watching a video or whatever to be a different, different sound. Different sound, right. But whatever you want to do. Right. I'll turn it back on. Yeah. And then we have vibrate on ring or vibrate on silent. Yep. So depending on, you know, how you have things set up. But what about all those other sounds? Yeah. let's say I come in here and I change them all, but then I hear something else. Right. I'm like, what is that sound? It's not a mail. It's not text. Right. What is it? What was it? Well, here is a little known secret is that all of your third party apps that you download, like from the app store and yeah. things, um, most of them, the majority of them, I think all of them have alerts and a part of those alerts is a sound alert and they right. usually default to everything being on. Right. So they're going to make a sound when, you know, uh, someone made a play on your game and it's your turn right. or mm -hmm. your lives are refilled. Of course, you can tell I play a lot of games. Yeah. She's got young <laughs> some, I'm sure somebody has important apps <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> that right. aren't games. But um, so where do you change those third party apps? Notifications. So we go into the notifications area and we have a whole tech bit on the full notifications right. and settings. Yeah. Um, but if you come in here, you're going to notice that down here, it's showing you all these different apps that you have. Yep, show you so, all the apps that you have downloaded. Exactly. So let's, for example, go into Evernote. And let's say um, we want to allow notifications from Evernote. It's going to slide up all the different things you can do. We're just going to look at sounds. <clears throat> we can turn it on or off. Right. Now, you, you cannot know? customize um, what the third-party app sounds right, are. So right. you can't pick like Barking Dog or... Right, right. <laughs> Possibly inside some of the apps you might be able to do right. that, but most of them don't yeah. really have any settings inside of them. So And I think it's good to point out, when you first download the app, it usually is set up like this. With it everything usually defaults up. to everything. Or it'll yeah. ask you these questions really quickly the first time you go in it. And you're yeah, like, you're oh, like, oh, yeah, oh, okay, sure. okay. I just but... want to start using my app. Right, exactly. <laughs> and you don't notice it. So yeah. you can always come in here to check what your settings are by app. So you can see besides the um, sort of system apps, if you want to call them that, that we looked at first. Right. Yeah, um, that are on there that make sounds. You can get quite a lot of sounds going on oh, because yeah. you, you know, everybody has a lot of apps downloaded. These are your third party apps. And so right. you can really just have a crazy phone. Right, right. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta check in the settings in sounds to mm -hmm. do your basic sounds and then come to settings notifications to check right. all your apps individually, turn the sounds on or off, depending on what you want to do. Right. So. so I think then, you know, your dinner parties or your dinners with friends won't or meetings won't sound like this anymore. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.